Hey everyone, this is Nemo and in today's tutorial we will see how to easily make CMS pages private in PrestaShop, giving access to them to registered users only. So let's get started. The files we need to edit are cmscontroller.php and the relative template to later display a specific message when the page cannot be accessed. Then later, as a bonus, we might even want to completely hide the links that point to the private pages in the footer block, which are these ones here. Well, some of them at least, um, since they display by default. So we will also modify the CMS block. Now, let's start with the controller. So I will open up in my Presta Shop installation controllers front CMS controller. As always, the ideal way would be to use override, so I'm just trying to be quick in this case. Now, at the very beginning of the initialize method, so init, right after we check that we do have a CMS page, so ID CMS is a positive integer, but before assigning and instantiating the CMS object, we want to add some code. And my condition, well, first, actually, I will add an array, so private pages, and it will be an array containing the IDs of the pages I want to make private. In this case, terms and conditions has ID 3. Now, for my condition, um, if the page we're currently viewing is contained inside that array, so if an array and my needle is id cms my haystack being private pages so if this condition is true i want to make the page invisible for, for all non-registered customers so if this context customer id and i will just use a check to see if this is not zero. So, I mean, if this is zero in this case, so if this can, this uh, ID is uh, zero, so, or empty in any case, I will first call parent initialize, because we do need some variables in uh, every PrestaShop page. And then I will send a header which is going to be http slash 1.1403 forbidden. Okay, so this is um, mainly for um, search engines, but also tell the browser that this page cannot be accessed. Then another header, status 403 forbidden. Okay, good. Then we want to assign a variable because by default, a CMS page template does not display anything, but this page is, does not. This page does not exist. So we need something um, to give the user some feedback, right? So this context smarty assign, and I will assign cannot access tools display error. you do not have access to this page okay and then i'll just return okay so far so good we are pretty much done with php for now so let's move to the template so in the theme folder i'll go back themes default bootstrap i will look for cms.tpl we'll open it up then I will locate the div with class alert alert danger and I need to add a condition here since as I mentioned before it's not displaying any error apart from this page uh, this page does not exist so what I want to do is if is set cannot access so if this is set and I will set up the else as well if this is set, I will display cannot access. Otherwise, this page does not, oops, does not exist. 
All right, so let's save and let's now try to reach the terms and conditions page. Good, you do not have access to this page and just to show you it's really working, I'm gonna remove my code here and I should be able to access, yep. Good, so far so good. But what if I also want to hide that link completely, this one? So as I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, we must amend the CMS block. So I will reach modules and we'll look for block CMS, this one, not CMS info, block CMS. And then we'll open up block CMS model.php. Bear in mind this, I don't think this can be uh, overridden probably. So uh, you'll have to hard code this modification, I think. I didn't try the override, honestly. So I will look for a method name get CMS titles footer. Okay, and you may want to edit the um, the counterpart without footer if you want to hide it in the sidebar block as well. So basically I want to add the same condition and I will do it right after uh, IDs here, as you can see. So again, private, actually, let me just copy and paste it to be quick. So private pages, of course, we cannot use the same ID CMS because we didn't have it. So I will use instead if in array, so in, in this case, it's IDs one, since that's an array, uh, and one is the actual CMS page ID. So if this is true, I'll change the condition. So I will use if, well, again, the same, if this context customer ID. So if this is false, I will just continue because I don't want to kill the script. I just want to avoid displaying this very link. Okay, save, refresh, and okay, I use this when not in object, uh, in uh, object context, right? So I will just have to use context since it's assigned here. Refresh and good, it's gone. So if I now go back to the home page, I should not be able to access that anymore. Great. All right, so that's it for creating private CMS pages in PrestaShop. If you want to create private products, I have a handy free module called product access and you can use uh, use it again it's free so feel free to download it from store.nemops.com and use and abuse it just please don't try to resell it okay so this is everything for today's video i hope you found it useful and if you did please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for more great PrestaShop tutorials and tips thanks for watching i will see you next time